Greetings Earthlings, my name is Zero Jake and welcome back to Space Engineers. Last episode we have a nanite factory, well we built a nanite factory and I've managed to get it working. So uh, last episode it wasn't working as intended, it wasn't welding anything. Um, so restarting the game made it so that it will. Um, I've also added a speed upgrade so that it will do things a bit faster so that these nanites will move significantly faster. As you can see they're coming back green which means that they're actually working. Uh, when I was testing earlier they were red and that's because um, we don't have enough components. Uh, so the Nanite factory doesn't seem to be actually building any of the components itself um, which is annoying so uh, we're going to disable all of that. Let me just find the assemblers and disable that as well. There we go. It might have been queuing in different assemblers that are not constructed yet, but that's fine. Uh, so I've just been manually building resources. Uh, we're going to solve that this episode. Uh, but first, yeah, it's done all the conveyors in this area, and then it's also done all the blocks as well, so the armor blocks and everything. And if we go through here, you know this uh, area has been done before, but if we go across here, it's done, oh my god, a lot. Uh, there was like 1,500 blocks um, a few times, well, like at the end of last episode, and now it's down to 500, I think. We can see if that's proper, but you can you can see that they're welding things, um, doing good work here. It's mostly conveyors, which is why I've needed to construct uh, small steel tubes, uh, what else, motors and construction components, and steel plates. That's kind of most of the stuff that this thing needs. Uh, let's just check. How many blocks are available for construction? Uh, oh right, currently 700. So it's done about half of its uh, current construction quota. That's mostly just conveyors. Uh, also one other thing that I did is I've started building a bridge. Uh, not a bridge bridge, but a uh, command bridge. Uh, so, well no, all I did was put glass here, but looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Um, and that's where we're going to be this episode. Specifically, we're going to uh, make it so that the assemblers will auto-craft everything we need using a very, very useful script. Uh, to do that, we are going to do the programming block and a timer block and some LCD panels. Because everything requires LCD panels these days. I just need to check that this is the right way up, because it's not. Okay then. Uh, is this the right way up? Yes, good. Okay, so we need two LCD panels. I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, we also need a programming block, or a programmable block. Don't know why it's called a programmable when it's a programming. I don't know. I'm not the developers, am I? Uh, that should do, even though that's the wrong way up, and I'm going to kill myself if I do that. See, the nanites are building everything already. Uh, can I not just... Right, and then switch around. There, good. Well back. The nanites just built the programming block. That's good. This is why we have nanites, ladies and gentlemen. So this is going to be one of the two bridges. Uh, they will basically function with exactly the same purpose. They'll have control panels. Thank you, Amsol. Uh, Amsol. That might not have come up, uh, because that's a Steam overlay, and recording might not have worked, but I got a message from uh, Amasol about something that will happen soon. Yes. I'm going to disable Steam overlays. Give me a second. Okay, so the first step is you need to rename uh, your LCD panels. Uh, left one and right one are different. The left one, uh, rename as... Uh, Quota text panel one, and then the other one is uh, quota text panel two. I'm pressing the wrong button here. Okay, yeah, pretty simple. Um, everything is transferred to me because I constructed it myself, and we also need to uh, show text on the screen public. And do that same for this one. And uh, there we go. Good, right, so that should do the thing that we wanted to do when we've got the 
program started. Uh, now, this is a script in the workshop. Uh, it is in the uh, mod collection I have. It is called Crafting Component Quotas, which is also in the title of the video, if you didn't notice. So if we go to Edit Code and browse the workshop, uh, we want Crafting Component Quotas. Um, click OK, and it should deposit all of this script in here. Uh, we're not going to pay attention to most of it, but one thing that we are going to change is in this config section, which is just below the other thing. And then we want two LCD panels, which for reference is here. And we want to change this. Uh, we just need to um, check code first. Good. Right. Just to make sure that there's no errors. And then we want to change the two text panels to true instead of false. Yeah? because we're using two uh, LCD panels. So what we do is uh, remember code, then remember an exit, just to make sure, and that's good. So this is set up to run the code. The code has not run yet. This is why we have the uh, timer block. So what the timer block will do is we will set up actions. We'll put the delay to one second. Uh, we'll set up actions so that um, it will activate the programming block, run it, yeah no argument required and then uh, and then we go to the timer block and run that well start that so now it's not running yet it's still green it's not flashing but now what we do is we hit run or start and it will start flashing this shows that the timer block is working and then over here we can see a glorious thing over here which I don't think is actually connected to anything uh, yeah so this will display every single type of, uh, I think it's vanilla uh, component that you can craft in the assembler. So anything that assemblers can craft will be shown in this. Um, so you, you can see two numbers for each one. So construction refers to construction components, interior plate, interior plate, steel plate, steel plate, small tube is small steel tube, all these other things. These are the um, base coding thing uh, in the code. So you, you wouldn't type in construction component in code, you would type construction because there's no other construction component. It's confusing but it makes sense. Now uh, there are two numbers. The one on the left is how much you have. Uh, I don't think this is reading properly. I'll go check uh, to make sure what I need to do to be able to get that working. And then uh, the right hand side will show you what your cap is, so what the limit is. So currently we have like 5,000 cap for construction components, what that's not going to do. Uh, also 250,000 steel plate, we won't need that much in one go, not right now. So the way to change this is um, open the text, that's title, uh, we want to edit public text and then we change these uh, rear numbers to show something else. So I don't want 250,000 steel plate, I want 25,000. I don't want uh, only 5,000 construction components, I want uh, 10,000. I'm going to increase uh, some other things. So small steel tubes we want 10,000 of. Uh, we only need kind of 2,500 uh, large steel tubes. 5,000 measures, good displays. We won't need that many displays. This is basically, I'm changing these so that we don't go overboard in the amount of resources we're spending, uh, which is pretty useful. Reactor components, that's fine, all good. So now we've set up these restrictions, but we need to make it so that something is constructing it automatically. And that is the second part, well, the actual main part of this script. I'll be back in a second once I've done some more research and make sure that I'm getting it right. Okay, so after a bit of research it turns out that the script, um, it works fine, apparently, but it doesn't update the LCDs. So we're going to go back to our old pal, the configurable automatic LCDs, which we have used in the past. So uh, we'll just edit this, browse the workshop, uh, automatic LCDs. There we go, check code just to make sure that it's good, remember and exit. Okay, and now all we need to do is edit the uh, commands of this so that it will also trigger the other command block. Uh, so we want to get rid of this, uh, we want the programming, programming 2, run this thing, and the timer. 
and start. There we go. Right, that'll now run. So, this script is now running. Uh, so what the pr the automatic LCD configurable uh, malarkey does is it will um, do the same thing like this, but more fancier. Now, uh, I haven't used it in a while, or actually set it up in a while, so I'll be back in a second uh, once I've got the LCDs sorted. And then we will move on to getting the actual system working. Okay, so it seems like I can't get the LCDs working. Uh, I'll try between next episode and this one, but it's not needed right now. It's just something that I would have loved to actually tell you that it's actually working. So, um, if we... Actually, no, we can access it from here. Uh, so if we open a control panel and go to production, you can see that we've uh, welded quite a significant amount of assemblers, which means we have all the assemblers to play with. Uh, so the f we're going to ignore this one, by the way. So the first thing that we want to do is uh, we want to set up one of the assemblers. Uh, so if we type in advanced advanced assembler. Uh, we can see all of these uh, 35 assemblers. Well, 6 to 35, so uh, a bit less than that. 30 assemblers. I'm actually going to go down there so we can see if it's working. Uh, probably should set the uh, the timer block to actually run, because that would be useful, wouldn't it? Be useful. Uh, get rid of that. Not needed. And start. So you should be running now. Good. So uh, let's head into the industrial area uh, and make sure this is working because it's easier if I go in there first. So um, I'm going to start with these ones at the end. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to want is we're going to want one that will automatically construct steel plate. Uh, now the way that I believe this works is uh, you basically have steel plate in the name. Um, First of all, turn off the block that you're using, then put steel plate in the name, so uh, like this, all one word, it's the code version. Oh, I'm low on energy. I'll, I'll last for about long enough to be able to get this section done. Uh, so good. And then I actually want to turn off co uh, cooperation mode for all of them, so uh, that's good. Uh, let's go back to the assembler. So now it's steel plate. So the script will pick up that this uh, does steel plate. Then the next thing that we need to do is we need to find this one, steel plate, uh, and then we need to set it to repeat and get some steel plate in here. So steel plate here. Uh, we want a decent amount of steel plate uh, and it will do things. So it's turned on, yeah. Remember I turned it off. It's turned on because the script has said, ooh, we do not have enough steel plate, okay? That's all that the script does. That's it. It can't set any production thing. Um, and what that means is because we've set it on repeat mode, this will continue producing steel plate until it's turned off or told not to by right clicking here. So now this thing will construct all the steel plate we need. And then when steel plate um, goes, well, if we have enough steel plate, like above the 250,000, which is the current cap, uh, it will then stop. I'm actually going to change what that is because uh, that might be dangerous. And also it's quicker to show you. Uh, so let me, so I've got 2,500. That's going to increase periodically as everything moves around. Um, that's actually going downwards because we're using the steel plate. We'll set up other things in a second so that we can get stuff done. We've got 100, what the? Hmm, we have uh, 125,000 construction components. I did not expect that. Uh, other things we need is we need um, small steel tubes, large steel tubes, computers, all these other things we need to do the same with. Uh, but first I'm going to change the uh, LCDs. So LCD, uh, not that, not that. No, I changed it to something else, didn't I? Uh, it's quota. quota. So I want to change uh, edit public text. Uh, we want to change that to 25,000. Uh, we want to change construction to, to 10,000. We want to change... Uh, I think all of this is fine. Yeah, we'll keep it like this for now. 
But when we hit 25,000 steel plate, which we will, uh, then uh, the assembler will turn off. And then when we go below 25,000 steel plate, it'll turn on again. Now, this uh, whilst we're constructing the rest of the base, this assembler is going to be working all the time. Uh, so that's fine. Now, this does mean that the only thing that's not automated is the collection of materials, but that's kind of easy. We have mining lasers for that. Uh, so, let's set up another one. Uh, I want to set up... Ooh, computers, I think. So, if we go to assemblers, uh, we're going to actually use this one over here. Nope, I haven't even put modules on here. I could make them even faster, if I wanted. Or I can make them power efficient, which might be the better idea. So we want to turn the block off, and then we want to change this to uh, computer, I think is the keyword. Yes, it is. It changed from off to on, if you could see. So I get rid of that, turned it to off. Yeah, it's not computer, it's compute. Computer turns on, because we don't have enough computers. And then all we need to do is set up the repeat, and we need computers. I will set up 500. Now the reason why you set up more, uh, so you don't just set up one, is because one will bring in the resources for one, he says, if at any time that anything wants to follow more, no, because that's the wrong one. Wrong one. Uh, right, let me find the correct one. Computers, there we go. Uh, so we want to set this one to repeat. I kind of ran a fool of myself there. Set it to one. We wait. We continue waiting. Produces one. See how slow that is, yeah? So that's why we add a few hundred. Because it means that our automated system, or like the game, will send enough resources for 600 and it will keep that topped up. We don't need the resources for 600, but keeping it topped up is the key bit. So it will continue producing computers until we are at our cap. Now I'm going to go and gain some more energy because I'm on 2% and that's not actually good. So we've now got automated computers, which means um, I can play like a billion copies of Space Engineers at the same time. Uh, right, that'll do. 35%, that's enough to do everything else. So now I've got computers. Hooray. Good for us. Good. Now, I want more assemblers, so I'm going to prioritise getting the things for assemblers. Steel plates? Yes. Computers? Yes. That's good. Very good. Construction components? We have a surplus right now, so we don't need to. Uh, alloy plate? I think, actually, we've burned through a lot of alloy plate. I don't even know if uh, we've actually used up all of our alloy plate, because I don't know where it is. Yes, we've used up all our alloy plate, and also we're going to need to use it for the uh, other advanced refineries. So, I'm going to set this guy up to uh, be alloy plate machine. So let's go alloy plate. Easy. Uh, actually, I should prove that it's the correct way. So alloy plate, alloy plate. You going to do anything? Possibly not. Uh, I need to look up the correct keyword. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so it seems that this mod can't actually use alloy plate because alloy plate is a modded item. That's a pain. Uh, never mind though. So we'll just do some of the others, shall we? Uh, so we've got small tube and large tube, so we may as well go small tube automatically turns on, production, go to small tube maybe I accidentally set up to do alloy plate, that would have been silly uh, small tube, there we go and small tube there we go, we've automated production of small steel tubes and it's got a maximum see how easy this is? Uh, yeah if this thing is glowing magenta, it means that there aren't enough components. Uh, we're going to have to deal with the ability to create alloy plate um, differently. Uh, by differently, I mean we have a button that we push uh, when we're low on alloy plate, uh, which I will get the um, the inventory thing working at some point. You are missing motors, so we are going to automate motors. Uh, so change that to uh, motor off 
Okay, good, that works. And go to motor and select enable repeat. There we go. Motors are now automated. This is the easiest thing in the universe. And then the last thing that we need for these are displays. So we want displays over this one. And then that should essentially be we have all the assemblers in the universe, which is good. So uh, change this to display. So if we set this off, does it turn on? Good. Always check that because uh, you may have just set it up wrong. Okay. So uh, this is the reason why we have this cargo here. This cargo has um, a priority of two. So when the nanite factory fills up, if the nanite factory fills up, I mean, it's got a quarter of the inventory size as a regular cargo container, uh, then it will go into the cargo container pretty good. Um, the only thing to worry about is if this fills up and there's a type of item that's not in here that it needs and it's in here. Uh, that might be a problem. I don't know how the nanite factory will sort that but we will deal with that when that happens. Possibly with some convoluted system of taking everything that's not needed in from here into the inventory. Or I could do something else with that but that will be later. How much how many targets? We're down to 500 targets. This is good. Um, I think we want to automate interior plate. Interior plate will be useful because that's used for, um, I don't know, conveyors? No, uh, yeah, conveyor blocks and a lot of other stuff. Your display, so let's set you up to, con uh, let's set you up to uh, interior plate. Turn it off beforehand interior I can't spell interior or I can and not know it plate okay good I did spell it correctly uh, you uh, you don't want to do that you don't want to do that what are you doing um, we want to go to display and do that you fool might be out of something possibly silicon no we're not good uh, so that's good. Uh, interior plate, we want. Uh, enable repeat mode. Interior over here. Good. So now, with our ability to auto manufacture nearly everything that these advanced Energy assemblers require, cover. we now have all the advanced assemblers. See? Once you get automated components uh, being constructed, then everything gets constructed. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have 28 advanced assemblers. More assemblers than I could ever need. And this uh, script is the reason why I have so many assemblers, because you can only set up uh, each assembler with one thing to make it work properly. But now that it is working properly, we, n we have a ridiculous amount of uh, flexibility. Uh, so, in between this episode and the next one, I will set up uh, as many assemblers as possible to create the things I need and then uh, I'll set up one that does the alloy plate and set up to some sort of button or a command thing that I can press whilst uh, broadcasting so uh, if I turn on broadcasting it is turned on okay um, uh, it's because the antenna is all the way over there should probably add an antenna over this end because antennas don't have that much control range he says he says yeah I'm hopeless. Right. Oh, not to mention that we can place modules on here. I might place some um, power conserving modules because we will be using a ton of power. Let me just check how much the reactor is pu uh, pushing out right now. Uh, reactor. Uh, so we want station reactor. That is currently doing nearly a twelfth. Uh, between a 24th and a 12th of the amount of power it can actually put out. Um, the only thing that would require so much power is a mining laser and uh, we don't need a mining laser on this. I mean a jump drive you know we might need like 10 of them and charge those but even then this this reactor is going to power everything. The only problem is if someone shoots it then it's gone and uh, everything is powered down. Okay, so uh, we're going to let the nanite factory do its thing, uh, possibly place all the other components we need for the stuff that we've um, 
quote-unquote accomplished, such as the uh, laser or the force field doors uh, on the hangars and the force field doors on the launch tubes and the uh, gravity generators and everything else. We all need to set that up to some scripts, some lovely, lovely scripts, and uh, that should work. Because I'm going to need to script it, because otherwise I just have tons of timer blocks everywhere, and that's not going to be suitable. Uh, are you actually done? No. You're waiting on motors. We've automated motors. You'll get them soon, I promise. Uh, when hell might freeze over, possibly. So, uh, I'll keep uh, an eye on the nanite factory, uh, making sure that it's ticking over nicely. If... Uh, if something somehow breaks, uh, I will tell you, possibly after uh, swearing a bit and kind of face palming and table flipping everywhere, because I don't think that that should be happening. Until then, my name has been Zero Jake. End transmission. <laughs>